Hallelujah. 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 Praise you, Father. Praise, Praise you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Father. Lord. Oh, you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy of our praise. Turn me up just a hair, Denzel. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Glory to God. That's Glory. good. Yes. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Glory to God. Oh, you're worthy, Lord. We worthy, give you glory. We give you worthy, praise, worthy, Father. Lord. We Thank magnify you, your name. We glorify Lord. you. You're an almighty God. Yes. Your nothing is too hard for you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, you're worthy of glory, our praise. Glory to God. We magnify you, you, Father. We glorify you. Praise your mighty we give you all name. the thank glory, Lord, all the praise Lord. in the mighty glory, name of Jesus. Glory, oh, you're worthy, glory, you're worthy, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're worthy, Lord. I love you, Lord. Father, I just pray you thank take you, this word, Father, and grant it deep within our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, help us to walk in your ways. Father, help us to understand your word. And just to believe your word, and I give you praise and glory. Thank You're a mighty God. You're more than enough. I magnify you, Father. Thank you. I glorify you. I pray that you anoint this, Father. That you anoint our ears, our hearts, and our minds. Yes. And our eyes and, our, you, and everything we have and everything we are. Father, that we may Thank receive you, everything you've yes, given, Lord. freely given Thank to you, us. Lord. And I give you praise and glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Turn with me to uh, <coughs> Hebrews. We're not going to do Romans today. Turn me to Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11. Verse 1. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. That's right. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Say the elders. The elders. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. In other words, God created everything by the power of his word. Thank you, Lord. And when he said it, he believed it happened when he said it. Even though there was nothing, he created something out of nothing by the power of his words. Yeah. Ephesians 5.1 says, Be you therefore imitators of God as dear children. We're to imitate God, do things the same way God does them. People say, well, we're not God. No, we're not. But Christ is in us. Jesus is in us. The creator of all things in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, and all things were made by Him or created by Him, and without Him was not anything made or created. So God created everything in the universe by the power of His Word, and He yes. gave us His words. Amen. He gave us His authority. So we need to step up and speak the Word of God. Amen. Speak the words of God. Yes. Creative powers released. When we as children of God speak the words of God. Yes, yes. So we need to do that. Thank you, Lord. Turn with me to Genesis chapter 1. That's the very beginning. Hallelujah. Say, in the beginning. In the beginning. We'll start with verse 1. In the beginning. Say, in the beginning. In the beginning. You know what the beginning was? <laughs> At the beginning, right? In the beginning, God created. Now, God... Now, in John chapter 1, verse 1, it says, This God was Jesus. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word what? was God. That was Jesus Christ. Verse 14, it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beguiled His glory, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. So that's Jesus in the beginning. Jesus is the Word of God. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Notice, God started with some basic... How many cooks we have in here? you got to get your materials together, right? Yeah. yeah. And you got to put them together just right, right? Yeah. And what do you, you, you end up with something good, hopefully, right? Yeah. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> but anyhow, everything God made, He said, it's good, it's very good. Yeah. Yes. When God made stuff, He made it good. He made it very good. Amen. All right? So he started with his basic materials. The earth was void. That means nothingness. 
was thou form and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And then God moved upon the face of the waters. In other words, there was waters because God made them. And God said, let, and God said, say said. Said. Yeah. You see, he created by his words. Yes. And God said, let there be light. Let there be light. Yes. So then let there be light. And there was light. When God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Now, in the Hebrew, this word day, it means a 24-hour day, just like our days are today. It was a day like our days are today. Every, every one of these days is a day. Yes. Now, in Peter, Peter talks about end times. He said, with God, a day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as a day. But he was talking about end time stuff. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that God foretold the end from the beginning. Prophetic. So these days, for end time purposes, they each, each represented a thousand years. Each represented a thousand years. But these days were a day just like any other day. Yes. The evening and the morning were the first day. You see, under the Old Covenant... The day started in the evening. When sunset was one day started, it ended until sunset the next day. So there's one evening and one morning in every day. All right? So this was a regular day. It wasn't a thousand years. It wasn't a million years. It wasn't a billion years. It was a day. Now, this is what's interesting. God did not create the sun and the moon yet. That's right. So where was the light from? It was from God. He is light. Amen. At the end, the Bible says, there will be no more sun, but God will light the earth. Yeah. It was the same light from God that lighted the earth. Then. All right? Hallelujah. In the evening and morning were the first day, and God said, they said, yeah. let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters. Now, a firmament, that's our sky and our atmosphere around the earth. So God created our sky and our atmosphere around the earth. In the midst of the water. That's in the middle of the waters. Middle, yeah. You see, there was waters above the atmosphere, and there was waters below the atmosphere. The whole earth was different before the flood. Everything was different. Everything was different before the flood. There was actually a layer of water above the whole atmosphere of the earth. Okay? God said, let there, be, uh, let there be a firmament in the midst or in the middle of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And it happened. Yes. Just like God said it. And God called the firmament heaven or sky, and the evening and the morning were the second day. That's what he did on the second day. God made all the atmosphere around the earth and he divided the waters that was under the atmosphere from the waters that was below the atmosphere. Now the waters that were below the atmosphere is what we call the seas, okay? It's going to go on and talk about that. God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together into one place, in one place. You see, all the waters were together in one place in the beginning. That's when God created everything. Yes. And all the, when God made the land masses to appear, they were all in one place. Yes. Now the science knows at one time all the land masses were together in one place. They know that. But they presume it must have been over millions and millions and billions of years. Guess what? It was about 6,000 years ago according to the Bible. Yeah, absolutely. Either God's word is true or it's not. Amen. If God's word is not true, we can't trust anything it says. That's right. If this is not true, we can't trust a thing the Word of God says. That's right. But it is true. Amen. It's the most accurate historical book in the world, the Bible. Thank you, Lord. If God preserved His Word, He had, he had scribes that meticulously copied copies. And so now we have thousands and thousands of copies of the original things that were, copied, that were yes. printed. God preserved His Word like that. Hallelujah. Matter of fact, like in the book of Isaiah, it describes in pretty much detail how Jesus was crucified. How he had thieves hanging on beside him on both sides. 
It pretty much describes his crucifixion. So his, like people in history, they said, oh, that had to be written after Christ, after Christ was, was crucified. It could have been written 400 years before that. But the truth is, have you ever heard of the Dead Sea Scrolls? In the early 1900s, this, this shepherd boy got into a cave and he found these scrolls. They were in the Dead Sea area. And he found these scrolls, and they took that scroll, and they dated it, and it was 400 years before B.C. That's the scroll of the book of Isaiah. And it was exactly like the book of Isaiah we have now. Nothing had changed. Amen. God preserves his word. Yes. And everything, everything that Jesus did, the scriptures foretold everything that Jesus did. He was born a virgin, just like the scriptures foretold. He, 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 was, he was beat. He was crucified. Just like the scriptures foretold. Yes. He bare our sins in his own body, just like the scriptures foretold. He did it all for me and you. He was the Lamb of God who was slain for the sins of the world. Jesus was. Yes. He was the creator of all things. The creator of all things came down here to earth and became a man so he could redeem mankind. Thank you, Lord. Everything you've ever been tempted to do, Jesus was tempted to do. And he did that so he, and he overcame so he could help us to overcome. Because he wants us to be free. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus came to set you free. To break the bonds of sin in your life. To break the bonds of every addiction in your life. He came to deliver you and set you free. Yes. He said who the Son is set free is free indeed. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So let the waters under the heaven and under the sky be gathered together in one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth. Gathered together the waters and called seas, or sea in the Hebrew. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb bearing, and let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and let the fruit trees yield fruit after his kind, say after his kind, after his kind. whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb bearing, bearing yielding seed after his kind. And the tree yielding fruit after his kind, in itself after his kind, after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. This was the third day. Day three. He created all the plants and the, and the, and the fruits and all that. And they had the, they had the fruit on the trees. You say, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I'm going to tell you the chicken came first. Because God created it. Yes. Come on. Amen. Hallelujah. That's right. The egg didn't come first. The chicken came first. The seed didn't come first. He, he made the fruit, the seed in the fruit. Yes. All right. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. On day three. On day three. Now, I hear people say, well, maybe that was a thousand years. Well, if it was a thousand years, all the plants were created on day three. It was... If it was a thousand years before day four, then there was no sun. For a thousand years? <laughs> There's nothing to nourish these things. <laughs> That's impossible. That's not possible. Either God's word's true or it's not. God's word is true. Yeah, this is what I think. You see, God is almighty. He really could have all done it just like that. What? Because he's almighty. So why did he stretch it all the way out for six whole days? Well, according to the apostle Barnabas, in, in the epistle he wrote, which was in the Bible before they canonized the scriptures, in two, uh, 385 A.D., according to him, Jesus told him, he said the Lord told him, that the six days of creation actually represented, each day represented a thousand years. And so he said, in 6,000 years would be the end. And Jesus said in Matthew 24, he said, This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached as a witness unto every nation, and then shall the end come. Yes. We are living in that generation. Yes. We are the first generation since Jesus said that, that the gospel is being preached. When I was a kid, there was lots of great places in the world that had never heard the gospel of Christ. I thought, man, that could not be in my lifetime. But you know what? It's happening right now. Amen. We are in that generation. 
And then Jesus said later in Matthew 24, and he said, and once you see these things, this generation should, that sees these things, this generation should not pass away. In other words, that means everybody, there's somebody who's born in that generation that will not pass away. Everybody will not pass away before all these things are fulfilled. Yes. And so Jesus is coming soon. I don't know how soon, but he's coming soon. Amen. It could be any day now. Yes. It could be any time. Amen. We need to be ready. Thank Amen. you, Lord. How, do you be, how are you ready? We just make sure you're walking with God. Yes. If, you, if, you're, if you think you're doing something wrong, just repent. Turn away Amen. from it. Amen. Ask God to forgive you and deliver you from it. Amen. You know what he'll do? It. He will do it. Yes. Amen. He will set you free. Amen. He is almighty God. Amen. Hallelujah. When we really Amen. understand that, then we can believe God. Thank you, Lord. And the evening and the morning were the third day, and God said, let there be light. Say lights. Lights. Now, there was already light in the first day, right? That was light from him. That was yes. his light. Yes. That there be lights in the firmament, that's in the sky, of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. And then let the lights be in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule of the day and the lesser light to rule of the night. And he made star, the stars also. He said he made the stars. Mm -hmm. Now, how, how did he make the stars 6,000 years ago? Well, the Bible says that God stretched out like a tent. He stretched everything out. The whole universe, he stretched out like a tent. You know how a tent, it's all folded up and you stretch it out? That's how God did with the stars. That's how they could have light from then till now. Even though they're like hundreds of light years away. God just stretched them out so the light was here instantly. God's mighty. Yes. Guess who created all the, the laws, all the physics, physical laws? God. God. Amen. God created everything. Amen. All the laws God made for us. God made time for us. Before that, there was no time. That's right. God lived, and we will, one day there will be no more time. <clears throat> there will be time, there will be no more. We'll just live for all of eternity with God. Thank there won't you. be any time. We say a song, when we've been there 10,000 years bright shining as the sun, we've no less days to sing God's praise than when we first began. There won't be time. That's right. I mean, 10,000 years will be nothing That's because right. we'll be in eternity with God. We'll be for all of eternity yes. with the Lord. Yes. We won't even have to sleep anymore. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. You won't have this mortal body that has to get renewed every night. Amen. You just have an immortal body that will last forever and ever and ever Hallelujah. and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Lord. If we can really get a hold of this, yeah. just begin to get a little bit of hold of it. Yeah. And believe the word of God like God tells it. God created everything in six days. Six literal days. Just like we have a day today. How can you do that? He's God. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God. That's right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Say the fourth day. The fourth day. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life. And the fowls that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven, that's the birds that flew above the heavens. And God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly, say, after their kind. After their kind. Now, see, he produced everything after its kind. After its kind. And every winged fowl after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters. This word fill is a group, same Hebrew word that's later translated, re, this later translated replenish, which back in 400 years ago, when King James wrote this translation, replenish meant fill. Mm -hmm. That's what it meant. Now it means refill, but it didn't mean it when they wrote it. It meant fill. They, they used all kinds of different words and said it's using the same word over and over. You know, we do that. If, we, if we're writing something, we'll say, okay, well, this, this, this is too redundant. So I'm, instead of saying, stay, 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 I'll say, like, like in 1 John, it says, one verse says, uses the Greek word minnow. 
and it, it's pronounced, it's, it's uh, usually translated abide. This said abide, continue, remain, it all means the same thing. But you use different words to mean the same thing. Yes. So we still do that today. But over, over 400 years, many words change their meanings. So that's why it's kind of dangerous just to use those old English words. I mean, you get real old English, you can't even read it. Yeah. It's so different than it is today. You can't even read it. But the Word of God is true. We need to get that in ourselves. The Word of God is true. Hallelujah. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the fowl multiply in the earth. And in the evening and the morning were the fifth day. You see, God created all the, that was when God created all the sea animals, all the water animals on day number five. And now we're getting to day number six. God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle, and creeping things. Say creeping thing. Creeping thing. This was all the reptiles. And the beasts of the earth after their kind, and it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth after his kind, and the cattle after their kind. And everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God said, let us make man in our image. Say our image. Our image. Father, Son, Holy Ghost. In our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing. Say creeping thing. Creeping That's thing. reptiles. That creepeth upon the earth. And God created man in his own image. And then in the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. That's Adam and Eve. He created on the sixth day. And God blessed them. So the first thing God did after he created mankind is to bless them. We are created for blessings. Yes. We are created for blessings. Say, I'm created, I'm created for, blessings. for blessings. God blessed Abraham, God blessed Abraham to, be to be a blessing. We're blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish. This is the same Hebrew word, to fill the earth. And subdue it. That means take authority over it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living creature that moveth upon the earth. And behold, God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the earth, on the face of the earth, for every tree in which is the fruit of the tree thereof, of the seed thereof, and you shall be, it shall be for meat or for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat or for food, and it was so. In other words, all the animals, even the dinosaurs that God created with man, they all ate, they all ate vegetables. Yeah. Why? Because that's the way God made it. Amen. Not until after the flood did men start did men start eating meat. We were all vegetarians before the flood. And people lived to be over 900 years old on the average. How do I know that? All you have to do is read the, and this guy begat this guy, he, he lived so many years. And most of them lived over 900 years on the average. On the average. That's a long time. Most of the animals, they lived a long, long time, too. Yes. You know, there's animals that live longer than people. Yeah. I used to have a parrot. We used to have some parrots. My wife hated them. <laughs> because I had this one parrot, and when I got him, he couldn't talk. But finally, he got talking good. He's an African gray parrot. And he was mean. That parrot was mean. And, and then I would, everything, I, I, he would imitate stuff I said. Now, my, my, my son Daniel, uh, he would get, try to get up close to that bird, and that bird was mean. So he would bite you. So every time Daniel, he wants to stick his hand in there and touch that bird. And every time he got close to that bird, I said, Daniel, get away from that bird. Every time. And finally, the bird starts saying, every time he started coming close, he said, Daniel, get away from that bird. He said exactly <laughs> like that. <laughs> and so we had the bird dance. In the, in, we had a, a room in the basement that we had our TV in and stuff, and that's where I sat down there. And so when I wanted something, I'd call her, and I'd say, Kathy! <laughs> now, hard to Kathy to get me something. And so, so then when I was gone one time, that bird go, Kathy! 
mean? <laughs> Sound exactly like me, she said. And so, so she come running downstairs, and I was gone. It was that bird. She wanted to kill that bird. That's what she. Yeah, that's true. But I sold that. I sold that bird for a few hundred dollars profit. So. Because I got it's got talking good. But the bird was still mean. You know, in those birds, the best talkers are mean. The ones that tame the best, they don't talk very good. So, but they live to be like. They don't know how long they live for sure because they live longer than people. They have had like instances where pe people have like given them to their relatives and they inherited them. They think they live between 125 and 150 wow. years. They really don't know for sure because nobody stays around long enough to see. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like reptiles, they grow. They grow as long as they're alive. And so reptiles that normally would die off in 50 or 60 years, they're living to be hundreds of years old. And they keep growing and growing and growing. So the big dinosaurs that they find, they're big because they live so long. Yes. Even the plants, they were big because they lived a long time. And under, before the flood, you had like you had like ideal conditions because God created us to live forever. Yes. He created men to live forever when he created this. And so God had ideal conditions in the earth. And when the flood happened, when the flood happened, all the, th all the canopy of water that was around the earth, it all fell. And the bowels of the earth broke open, and water gushed forth from the bowels of the earth. You know there's more water still today under the crust of the earth than there is above it? They found out that recently. They said there's more water than all the oceans in the, in the earth that's under the crust of the earth right now. That's amazing, isn't it? It is. But the Bible says when the flood happened, that the, wa the waters covered all the mountains up to, I think, 20 feet tall <coughs> above the mountains. Up to 20 feet above the mountains, the highest mountains. Of course, the mountains weren't as high as they are now. Because so what happened is after the flood and all the, all the bowels of the earth broke open, the land masses... After, it talks about a man named Peleg. And in his, he said his name was that because in his days, the land split. The land split, land masses split. That's what they call continental drift. Well, they said it happened over millions and millions of years. It really happened in one man's lifetime. Yes. Isn't that something? Yes. All you have to do is read the Bible. The Bible is true. Yes. Amen. Now, science has finally found, they don't understand it, but they found, they found some, some dinosaur that the intestines were still intact after 65 million years. That's very improbable, they said. That actually is impossible. But they found what was, they actually found what was in the intestines. It was plants. It was eating plants. What? The Bible tells about that. You see, true science always proves what the Word of God says. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> the Word of God is true. Yes, it is. The Word of God is true. Amen. The Word of God is true. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Now turn me over to Genesis chapter 6. Thank you, Father. 